This video was made possible by EA Game Changes. Hey guys, James here today and welcome to The Sims 4. But today, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be in... I'm waiting for it, waiting for it. First person! That's right, so this is actually super cool. So The Sims today just announced, well actually they just showed off on the Maxis Monthly Livestream a brand new feature coming to the game. Also, fair warning, uh, if you get motion sickness very easily, this probably isn't a video for you, because the first person is pretty, it's, it, it, yeah. Anyway, you know, we're starting off with the obvious stuff. We're doing some kisses. And then moving into, I think, what everybody's going to try and do, right? I mean, I'm not going to be the only one doing this. I mean, just imagine the mods that will exist with like, combined with this feature. Anyway, so they, they showed it off today for the first time on the Maxis Monthly Livestream, but we were lucky enough to get to check it out at Sims Camp in London a while ago now. So it's actually, it's actually been a bit hard to keep this secret because we've known about it for like a month now or so, and I actually cannot wait for this to come out in the game. Uh, this, the, so the interesting thing about this is, uh, it's, uh, it was a feature that they mentioned was just, uh, an additional thing that they kind of just ended up with, in, in the sense that, you know, someone on the team was just kind of tinkering along in their own time, and then it ended up being something that they could actually, you know, put in the game. It's kind of a hidden feature, it's not something that's gonna be, you know, presented to players when you start playing the game. Also, disappointingly, right here in this clip, not a lot happens. Um, <laughs> anyway, I thought, I thought I'd put it in, and I had to try it. I mean, I had to try it, of course. Um, yeah, so it's actually, it's a little bit hidden. So as you may know, if you press tab in the game, you'll go into uh, cinematic camera mode. But if you now press shift tab, you'll actually go into first person mode on a sim. So right now you can see that's what I've done. And sometimes you'll see that my mouse, like right now, is controlling the uh, the, the head movements and where I'm looking. So you can control where your sim looks with the mouse. And then you can also click on the ground and you can see it sort of pops up and says, go here. You can also, if you hold down, I believe it's shift. I can't remember, it's been a little while now, but I believe if you hold down shift, you can then use your mouse to click on the UI, because obviously if you're using your mouse to control, you know, where you're looking, you can't click on the menu. But if you hold down shift, your mouse will appear, and then you can click on, like, all the tabs, like, your needs, and, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so you can be able to get to that stuff that way. And the cool thing about this is it actually makes the entire game playable in first person. Like, almost everything you can do in first person. There are a few, uh, like, a few things that make it I guess probably not very plausible. Number one, uh, I think one big thing that would make... So obviously, like I said, this is not great if you have... If you're susceptible to motion sickness very easily. This is terrible for that. And one of the big reasons for that is because the field of view is pretty small. Usually in first person games, people will tend to get motion sickness when the field of view is fairly restricted. But if you then increase it, and what I mean by that is if in, in cinematic camera mode, when you zoom out and sort of makes everything a bit squished and you see more stuff to the sides, if you increase your field of view, it actually greatly reduces uh, motion sickness. Uh, so if they could ever add that in, like, here's the thing, this feature is such like a weird add-on thing, it's something that they may never update again, so, unless people actually use it a lot. So, hey guys, let's all use it a lot, and then we can all be like, hey, we could really use this update, it'd be great. But, it's basically as simple as all you, all that have to implement, because they have this in the cinematic camera mode, where you scroll with the mouse wheel. If I could scroll to then increase my field of view, that would be amazing, because that would make it way more playable for a lot more people, I think. And the other big thing that is a big issue, which I don't know if you've noticed, because I've sort of been cutting, I've obviously been cutting around a little bit in this video, but you cannot actually walk through doorways. <laughs> which sounds weird. Like, you can walk through doorways, but you can't, while in first person mode, click on the other side of a door to say, go here, because your mouse will always hit a wall, or it will hit the door and the door just has an option to lock it. So you can't actually select to go here if something is in another room. Which is a slight issue, uh, <laughs> for obvious reasons. So it means that if you want to go somewhere that isn't, you know, in the same room, uh, then you will need to exit first person mode. And, uh, and go that way. Now this this item here, first of all, is the new koi pond. And I just stocked it with sharks. And I was like, oh, let's go swimming with the shark. That'll be awesome. But some interactions like that one there where your sim sort of disappears. Because you saw when he jumped in, he kind of disappeared. Uh, you will actually just be bumped out of first person camera mode. So obviously that you'll be bumped out of first person camera when you go to work or something like that. When you're not actually traveling with the sim. So obviously there's certain aspects of the game where you'll not be in first person. 
which uh, that was an example of one of them. This right here, geez, this is something that could make you <laughs> real sick. I obviously just put an ice skating rink here just to test it out because uh, I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. And if you ever wondered what uh, setting an object as your head in first person looks like, this is it. This is a couch <laughs> on top of that guy's head. You know, just just casually. Don't, don't even worry about it. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. And this is what a toilet looks like on top of your head. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was just having a little bit of fun with it. It was getting late in the day. I was a little bit exhausted while I was over there recording this. But here's the thing. I really want to make... There's, there's, there, I really want to play a challenge of, you know, like playing... Sim 4, first person challenge, that's all you have to do. The only problem with it is, and I imagine you guys, if you're still watching now and you're not horribly ill, that's great because that means you probably don't have motion sickness or you're not very susceptible to it. But a lot of people are. <laughs> and it means that if I did like a challenge like that, not a lot of people would watch it just because of the way, you know, the camera moves. So, you know, just, just hey developers, can you just add in uh, a field of view slider? Because that would make 100% a huge difference. Uh, also, uh, this house in particular, I think I mentioned this in my Get Famous uh, overview or my Everything About Get Famous video. Maybe I did. But this house is one of the ones that is just missing stuff, which I don't know if they fixed it. I told them about it all at the event. I was like, hey, you know this house doesn't have this, this, and this. So you can see the stairs in the background. There's no banister on the stairs at all, which, I mean, I guess can, can be a style choice, but typically a home you know, we'll have that safety standard of banisters on stairs. Uh, and also, I think every single upstairs bathroom in this house doesn't have a toilet. And I think there's three bathrooms upstairs. So, not a great look. Uh, they said they were definitely going to see if they could fix it before launch. Whether or not they will? I don't know. Because the problem is, after oh, actually, this is really creepy. Check the Well, actually, this is kind of funny. This is what it's like, you know, having a quick whiz as a sim. This is creepy, though. So... <laughs> Turning around and then BAM! Looking in the mirror and you just see your face looking back at you and you're a sim. How weird is that? Now imagine this also combined with VR. Ooh. Okay, so here's the thing. Obviously there's no like uh, WASD controls. So you can't like walk around like in a first person game. You still click go here and all that kind of stuff. So like, like I said, it's a very much fun feature just added in for you know a few minutes of fun have a bit of a laugh there's a lot of funny interactions that you can do in this obviously i've only done a few things we've done a bit of cooking we're doing some barbecuing now we've done some talking but there's a lot of items in the game where there's just some fun or weird animations that go along with it something that i didn't try and i, I didn't record was doing the acting career in first person because i imagine you know being on stage and doing your, your bit and performing in front of all the cameras would look amazing in first person. Doing some acting. I think that would look really, really cool. So I'd love to see that. But um, if you guys want to see some more first person stuff, make sure to let me know uh, for when it comes out. Because this is this is actually... this is, I didn't even mention this. This is free. Uh, this is in the free update coming with terrain manipulation as well. So this is coming for everyone, not just for Get Famous. Uh, which is really cool. It's just a fun, silly little feature, which I hope that they update more. Because it has a lot of potential to be awesome. And I think a lot of people are going to love this. This is something that I think we've all kind of always wanted is a way to go first person in The Sims. And this is like, this is awesome. It, it look, I think it even looks really good in first person. Like even like just interacting with The Sim here, the way, I mean, actually you, well, something you also notice is how animated Sims are. Like they're, they're super animated. Like if you were like this in real life, like <laughs> moving around like this, it's crazy. Um, but it has, this, this feature has a lot of potential to actually be super playable this way, which is kind of weird, and I'm kind of excited for it. I hope, I hope it's a popular feature that people actually want to see more of. Also, this is what it's like to be a YouTuber, in case you're wondering, so now you can know what it's like talking to a camera. So this is the, uh, the video production station, uh, where you can make YouTube videos or do streams. Uh, in the game, uh, in Get Famous. So, <laughs> if that's something you're interested in, wondering what it's like, there you go. Um, yeah, I would love to do a first-person challenge, uh, but it would not be able to be a long-running series. <laughs> Maybe only one episode, really, or just like one video, because otherwise... It's gonna make too many people sick, which is a shame. I it doesn't. It, I feel fine like watching this, but even at when we're at Sims Camp, there was a bunch of people there, like a bunch of other creators that were like, "Oh my god, I'm feeling sick just doing this for like ten seconds," uh, which means you know, it needs a. Uh, it just needs a little update. The field of view would make a huge difference. Obviously, field of view is not going to solve everything, but it'll make a pretty big difference for a lot of people. So please add that. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate it. But other than that, this this feature is super cool. 
<laughs> it's it is super cool. I it's it's just something silly and something fun that you can jump into at any point in time. If you're ever wondering like, hey, I wonder what this looks like through the eyes of my sim, you can then just you know shift tab, jump into your sim and see what it looks like. Uh, but that's pretty much this is the first person feature, and I think I gave you the points of it that are cool. The points that if if this is popular enough. That if they improve those other other things, like, you know, the ability to walk through a door and <laughs> the ability to sort of just change your field of view, I think it'd be a lot better. I think it'd be amazing then and it'd be really, really cool. But I totally want to try and play The Sims normally in first person. I think you could do it. You just have to, instead of using doors, use archways. <laughs> you just use, oh, you know, like beaded doorways from like Sims 1 and that. If you just do like curtains over doors instead of actual doors. Ah, oh, that'd be cool. Obviously, there's no building in first person either. I don't know if I didn't, I didn't mention that, but I, it's only in live mode when you're playing with a sim. But yeah, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of this feature down below and if you're going to use it. Uh, and if you want to see some videos of it as well. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.